you want to write a book or you've already written a book and you want people to love your book, is that you? Hello, Sigrid Acast here, High Impact, High Profit Book Writing, Publishing and Marketing Specialist. And in this video, I want to share with you some tips around the journey to have people love your book. Strategic writing is what is required. Now, often, often, myself included, when I began writing my very first book and I knew nothing or not much at all about book writing, publishing and marketing a book, I was told that the editing stage will create the edge for me. That is going to be what it will be all about, editing. No worries how I write it, no worries what I write about. But on my journey with that very first book, I soon realized that no amount of editing would compensate for a lack of a strategic approach to writing in the first place. And here's why. It's pretty clear. What is it the people you want to love your book see first? They're not going to the inside of reading your book. That's not what they decide by wanting to read it. It is the outside, the title of your book. Yes, the cover, but the title, the title is the key component. What does the title promise? Is it right for the person who's reading that title? Is it promising them what they are looking for to get from you? So let me give you a little bit of insights around that. Think of it this way, editing itself polishes the diamond. And I'm speaking here from experience in the diamond jewelry industry of which I owned a jewelry shop for some years. So I know a little bit about diamonds. You see, if the diamond isn't cut correctly in the first place, no amount of polishing will make it sparkle. There are different types of cuts for a diamond and some cuts allow the diamond, the light to go through to sparkle much, much more than other cuts will. So the initial cutting, and for you, that is your strategic focus on the outcome that leads to impactful, inspired writing and so shapes the entire core of your book. Let me explain that a little further. Imagine you're delivering a speech to a room full of people. You're all excited. You can see all eyes on you. You know you spend all your time perfecting your language. You know every word you're going to speak. But this is what happens. You fail to understand who your audience is and what they care about. Your speech will likely fall flat. Those excited eyes at the beginning are going to drift away and they're no longer looking at you and you can see they're no longer listening. Your language did not connect. On the other hand, of course, if you know your audience, if you've done some research and you speak directly to their interests, their concerns, your message will resonate powerfully. Even if your speech, your words are not perfectly polished. It is the connection you are making. And with your book, that connection starts with the book title, the outside of your book. And therefore, it is about targeting your audience. Who is that reader? You want to love your book. Who is that? How much do you know about them? Writing a book is like that. Your reader really wants to feel seen and understood. And they want to know that your book addresses their specific needs and desires. And that starts with the title. See, this connection starts with really digging into that target audience you're writing for and understanding their desire to want to know more, their pain points, perhaps their inspirations, their aspirations, and the language you need to use. 
And in a twofold way, by weaving those elements into your writing, you're understanding the reader, you're sharing your expertise, you're sharing how they can get something from your book that they don't yet know in the way that only you can describe it. The title of your book is what makes that first decision step for the reader to love your book, to want to read it, to buy it. That is really the beginning of your author journey. And that is the planning how you reach those readers. You create a book that speaks directly to them. I learned that over my time writing three books, each one targeted to a different audience, to a different readership for a different purpose. And from that own personal experience, I've created my book writing, publishing and marketing framework. And I call it the marketing optimized framework because it is starting with targeting the reader to make sure they want to read your book and love your book. Let's take a little example of that writing framework or that journey. Let's use a business coach who wants to have her book attract new clients as an outcome that she'd like to achieve. So initially, this business coach might have been writing her manuscript, focusing solely on her expertise, ensuring every detail is perfect in her language. And then she spends months having it edited, polishing every sentence. And when she releases it, the expectation of greatness and being taken up by lots of excited readers is not getting that traction that she hoped for. It happens quite frequently. Let's say this business coach comes to me for advice and I suggest a different approach. We start by identifying her ideal clients, women executives, for example, that are seeking to break through career plateaus. We dive into their challenges, goals, and the language they use. And the author rewrites her book with this new perspective, addressing their specific needs, sharing relatable stories, and offering tailored solutions. What do you think the result is? Her book now feels like a conversation with her readers, a direct response to their struggles and dreams, and it becomes a valuable tool in her coaching practice, drawing in clients who now feel understood and are eager to want to work with her. So in essence, editing is the refinement process. But it is the initial strategic audience-focused writing that lays the foundation for a truly impactful book. By shifting your mindset from perfecting through editing to connecting through strategic writing, you not only create a good book, but a powerful voice that resonates with your audience and amplifies your vision and people will love. Every woman has the potential to make a significant impact with her book. The key lies in understanding that journey to a successful, influential book starts with writing that is purposefully crafted for those you aim to inspire and serve. And if that is something you would like to explore further with my help, simply use the link and get in touch. Secret cast today brought to you how people will love your book.